Welcome back to episode 2 of Agrarian Skies with our buddy Rheingar. Say hi, Rheingar. Yo. He's still Glad learning. To be back. He's still learning. We'll teach him how to say hi properly. But, anyway, a lot. Oh, oh, oh. I was learning to say hi, look. Yeah, see? okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> anyway, a lot has happened. A lot has happened since that last episode. We did some things, we did some recordings, and then thanks to those computer issues that I've been having, I kind of lost it all. So, here is just a quick recap that we're going to run through real quick. Center room thing, place, area, enough, stuff, full of stuff. Full of stuff, full of stuff, tons of stuff. Did you see the smeltery? If not, this is a smeltery. We have a smeltery. QED. QED uh, thingies. Ender flux crystals. Makes it go nice and quickly. Super fast. Ender lily. We have grown two ender pearls from it. Downstairs. Lava power. Lots of crucibles. One broke and fell. It kind of sucks. Crucibles. Uh, cobble generator. Fills the crucibles. Crucibles. Fill the lava drum with lava. We have currently 256,000 millibuckets, which is 256 buckets. Lava gets pumped up and out, down and around, back into one, two, three generators. The generators power the pulverizers, one, two, three, and also power the automatic sieves, one, two, three. We have this one sieving gravel. We have this one sieving sand. We have this one sieving dust. So we have all three being sieved being piped into these chests and a cobblestone strip don't know why that's there uh, currently I'll oh, probably keep one of these chests we're emptying these chests being filled up into those chests down there these will be gone soon this will be nice and open and beautiful oh we made this area too <laughs> we met nice and big we have these colored redstone lamps not only do they provide light but they look like it's cool and dark and ominous outside except for that one down there we, we didn't have enough of those. So, yeah. That was Rheingar's doing. Anyway, a, we have an aqueous accumulator filling a water drum, going into an igneous extruder, which also is collecting lava, and it will make obsidian if I turn it on. However, it is not currently turned on because I don't know where it's outputting right now. Currently, it is outputting out the back. And I don't know where that goes. That scares me. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Rain muffler, because rain is annoying. Rheingar, because Rheingar is a good time. I don't know if this is here or not, but sugar cane growing here. Potatoes growing here. Potatoes are good food. Reminds me that I need to... Oop, did you take all the potatoes? Oh, no, here we are. Don't forget our beautiful lake. Did we show the lake last time? I don't think so. I don't think we got a lake last time. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think so. Give me, let me eat these potatoes and then we'll talk about the lake. Here's our wonderful lake. It used to be all over here and over here as well. But as we've been getting dirt, we started to fill this in to make farms. We filled this in to make witch water. So it's becoming less and less of a lake. But it was a nice big lake at one point. Alright, we'll move over here now. We have... Uh, Iron door, which leads to our uh, nether portal, because things come through the nether portal, we don't want to mess with them, so this way we figure we're safe. <laughs> Fence gates to protect us from our mob farm. Our wonderful mob farm over here with Cursed Earth. You just pop the light out, and, uh, oh, that was our only torch. That was stupid of me. But anyway, they spawn really quickly, as you can see. They've already started spawning. There's, a uh, skeleton over here so they spawn really quickly it's easy to kill them and then you just pop over here you break the oak wood after you place a torch place a torch first because they will spawn on you and kill you place a torch break the wood get the loot and then we have storage for all the stuff over here with these fancy oak drawers except for enemy head all right let's see what else do we have that we didn't show off yet Rheingar and I well Rheingar made this big hallway I made this uh, tree farm-ish thing. It's still a work in progress. <laughs> Rheingar's storage. He's building storage. He's building nice lots and lots of storage. Looking really nice. Uh, we have a blood altar. 
And uh, let's see. I think that pretty much brings us up to date. Am I missing something? Uh, you got the tree farm? Got the tree farm. Oh, we got new stuff. Uh, this is, what is this called? Mm, alamite? This is alamite sword, pick, and axe. We have iron armor. Uh, and I they already saw upstairs stuff. in the last video. Yep, upstairs is good. Downstairs is good. This stairs is good. Yeah, they. Yeah, I just checked. They hadn't seen the lake before, so that was new to them. Right. Okay. Lake was something we did. Yeah, I think we're good. Well, then we are up to date, and we are now going to do something whopping fun. What are we doing today, Rangar? What are we, we doing? We are going to make a portal. We are going to make a portal to the last millennium. All right. So what are we doing? So, if you didn't already know, uh, it's actually one of our quests in our quest book. It's actually in the Learning to Sky block, if you want to open that up for them real quick. It's all the way in the right, called Dimensional Explorer. You actually need to get to three dimensions. The other two are kind of difficult to get to right now, so we're just going to skip those for right now. But anyway, so if you come to look at the second crafting table all the way over here, Over here. Yep, sorry. Was uh distracted by Oh, look at this. You'll, you'll see that I made some carved eminent stones. I made four of them. So we're gonna take those. And if you guys didn't go see that was station. that was a stone, 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 and a pearl, and then a purple uh floral powder and a magenta floral powder. Yeah, that's my bad. I should have kept that up a little bit longer. Anyway, if you move one crafting station over Oop, hold on one second. You'll see, see I made a yep clock. This is a generic Minecraft clock. You'll see it. As you can see, it is yep. currently nighttime. And look, it is nighttime. The clock works. It's <laughs> clockwork. It's get it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's a pretty generic clock. I mean, it works. So, we got a clock. Yeah, it does. Now, we go ahead on one over. You see, I already placed uh, four burnt quartz. That's basically just, you know, smelt some quartz. Nothing too difficult about that. Quartz blocks. So you just take those like this, and you put that there, and we made a portal to the last millennium. All right. Now, what is in the last millennium? No clue. It's a brand new thing to me. I haven't really looked into it. I just saw how to make it, and I said, all right, let's do it. All right. Not sure where I'm to going put it. To... Uh, do you want to make a room of some sort, just in case things go south? Well, that's the thing. I don't, I don't know anything about that portal, so... I don't either. Yeah, this I is... I mean, I know that things can come through the nether portal, so I knew, know it needed a home. The portal to the deep dark, I don't know what it does. I don't know, but I, I, I really am curious about all of these, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, Yeah, no, I agree I'm entirely. Ready. Well, let's, yeah, let's play it safe. Dude. Let's, uh, let's build a small room. How small? Do you, do you know, is it going to make a big portal? Does it make a small portal? Does it just do Well, let's, just, let's just see what happens. Oh, let's, gosh. Let's place. Uh, ah! Okay. Uh, uh, I think that's the portal. You just stand on Don't Don't break it, but I think you just stand on it? I mean, like... I, uh, oh, no, I, I just right-clicked it, and holy crap. Huh. Whew. Are we in the portal? So it was a villager. Oh! <laughs> he scared you, too? <laughs> Oh, the last villager. What does he want? Um. Oh, he give him stuff. What if I give him a pearl? What? And a colored brick. Uh, that's not doing anything. Okay, yeah. we're gonna just. Wait, he wants stuff. Yeah. He. It looks like he does, but he doesn't. This is cool. Um. My F7. Oh, things can spawn here if it's nighttime. Oh, a cauldron. Don't you have okay, so me? Okay, so literally it's. Just... I don't yeah, he wants, understand. He doesn't want anything. Like, I don't know where. I don't know. Uh, let's take a gander at this. Ooh, ooh, look at the map. The map looks really cool. <laughs> the map looks blank. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing there. Um. Did we bring so, torches? No. I do like these particle effects above it, though. That's really cool. Yeah, right, mean, I'm going I, home. I, I gotta say. Oh, no. I'm a what just happened? <laughs> no! It took, well, it that took was us fun. Back here, I cannot, I cannot believe that. 
Um. All right. Our base is there. There's another base right here. Which base is that? Hey, our I can red. see our base. I can, can see, see our it? base. We need to literally oh. like make a freaking walkway over to our base. We've been saying that since the beginning, and we haven't done it yet. But I think if we come over here... All right, I'm going to do this real quick. All right, you stay here. And I'm going to hope hey. that I'm not completely screwed. All right, here we are. Blue, is that our base? Is that our base? Oh, we're red. baby, am I good. We are red, but uh, if you go to the blue one, you can see our base. So now I'm Okay, just... and I'm starving. Oh, I should have left you some food. Yeah, All right, I'm going to break fine. down the majority of blue base here and um, build a walkway over to red base. Make... And oh, then from red base, from I here? will... What? No, from here, because I can't get back there. Oh. So I'm just going to... Okay. I'm going to go from here to there, and then from there to you. Okay. But yeah, so while you're doing that, I'm going to kind of look into the last dimension here, cause, or the last millennium. You mean, like, read up on it? Yeah. All right. So, so as you guys can see, there were some fun times in uh, Agrarian Skies, if you don't know what you're doing. And it's a good thing we brought our picks with us, and oops, and I remembered that we were so close. All right, close is a loose term. Wow, I'm going to have to break down this whole base. So, oh, crap, mobs can spawn. Oh, man. <laughs> this is just terrible. Hey, you don't have that clock still, is it? All right, well, the sun, the, the, the sun. Yeah, the clock is gone. The moon's going down, so I'm going to... Stand right here. Yeah, because I think from right here, nothing can spawn around me. I think I'm safe. And I'm just going to wait until sun comes up and I can get back to there without having mobs spawn behind me. So I'm going to do this. He's going to do that. And I will bring you folks in when we meet up again and we have some semblance of a road back to the middle portion area spot place. So I will see you in a bit. Whoa, dude, you're floating in space. How so? The, uh... The ground you're standing on hasn't rendered in. Oh, now it did. Well, I and hope then... you guys enjoyed the episode with Ryan Gar here. We went to the deep, not the deep dark. I keep saying the deep dark. Where did we go? Last millennium. We went to the last millennium. We decided that it was no big deal. Mm. What was that? It was kind of... It was kind of depressing. I was I was going to say, the Deep Dark will be our next adventure. Yeah. There's also the Soul Dimension to look forward to. We'll get to that eventually. Do I have my fancy quest book? And I personally I personally want to take, oh, wait. take on the Demon Portal. Hey, we get but, a reward for going so, to one of those places. No, you have to go to all three. That's the sad part. I'm looking at it right now. You get the reward. Really? A task where the player has to reach one or more locations. One or more? Yeah, so I, I, I just opened it to see the other what the other two were called, and and it was like, you have one unclaimed reward. So we get our bag and our titly scroll. Oh. Yep. That's kind of... Wow. Now I wonder... Okay, since it's completed... I don't know how you feel about that. You don't know how you feel about it? Like, I wanted to go to all three. Wow, it's a legendary reward bag. I'm telling you what, that's still going to be on my top priorities. Oh, we definitely will go to the rest I of I got them. a bound blade. I got a unique reward. 0.75 chance. Wait, you got a bound blade? Yeah. Is it red? Caution may cause a bad... Yeah, it says caution oh, may cause a bad day. Deactivated. I got a node in a jar. Oh, right. oh a sinister ordo node. Title scroll? What is that's actually title, a title scroll. That's actually a very good... You want to see what I got? Yeah, what's this title scroll, yo? That's what I got. Whoa! That's kind of cool. What is that for? Uh, it's for Thomcraft. It's a node in a jar. And we will use it, because that is actually a good node. It's 120 oh. ordo. But, but yeah, so I've got this sword. Alright, so right, real quick, sidebar. You have this bound blade. Come yeah. over and come over and hit me right now with it.
Wait, why is it showing what? Exactly. It's showing up as a sacrificial orb. Wait, you got a sacrificial orb? Or a sword? No, like, it says I got the bound blade, but I'm looking at it in my hand, and it looks mm. like a sacrificial orb. Alright, hold shift. Right click. Okay. Hey, there we go. And now don't hit me with it. Why? Because <laughs> you'll probably kill me. You think it'll kill you? Hold on, let me put my stuff in this chest. Just just in case. Alright, all right, go ahead, hit me. It said caution, may cause a bad day. Oh, well, it did nothing. But, we will need that, because... It, it, it harmed me. It harmed me a little bit, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, it does hurt you, unless you have a soul network, which you don't. So, it will hurt if you I'm use it. I'm gonna just throw it in the Is chest. it bound to you? So what's the title <laughs> scroll? Okay. Hold on, I'm curious about this. I'm gonna go attack something, let me know if it hurts you. Tell me when you attack. I'm attacking. No! Oh. Alright. Could be All hurting right. you though. Yeah, it is. Fun fact about this, there are different bound things from Blood Magic. When you're not using it, always, always, always Shift, right click it. Otherwise. Put it back into a sacrificial orb? Yeah. Like, if you look at it, it'll say deactivated. Right now it says deactivated. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, it's, a if it's activated, it will yeah. continually drain your life force. Oops, that's yours. Oh, shit. So, what is this uh, title scroll for? Yeah, we're going to find that out because I don't actually know. Um, so, let's see. Right click, left click. Uh, it wait. says equipped in the title slot, Striding Explorer. Uh -huh. But I don't know what that means, so it's going to go into a chest. Uh, that's something we can look into tomorrow. This chest looks good. <laughs> we'll look into that tomorrow. Hey, it's the portal to the last millennium. I like portal. Well, peeps. Okay, I'm working on the folks, ladies, gentlemen, cats and dogs, rabbits, even a goat or two. Whoever may be watching this video, you have a wonderful night, a wonderful morning, a wonderful day, a wonderful whatever you're doing. If you're at work, go back to work, stop watching my video, and I will see you all later. Goodbye. Yes.